Hi, it's Debbie here and today I'm going to be making a cute hedgehog Valentine's card using products from the limited edition Valentine's kit from Simonsa Stamp. Now, as usual with these limited edition kits, the kit has sold out. However, many of the supplies are available individually. My card uses one of the stamp sets from the kit and some pattern paper and printed shapes from Pebbles Inc, all of which are available separately from the kit. The stamp set I'm using today is called The Sweetest and is from Simon Says Stamp. All the critters are so cute, but it was the hedgehog who won my heart. I place the hedgehog on a piece of Nina Solar White card in the Mini Misty and close the drawer of the Misty to pick up the stamp. And then I inked it with Intense Black Ink from Simon Says Stamp. I chose this particular ink as it's Copic friendly. I stamped twice to get a good impression and then pulled out my Copic markers to colour him in. My colouring process is quite simple. I choose a few shades within the same colour family and then try and build in shadows and highlight areas into the colouring. Sometimes I start with the lightest colour and build up to the shadows and sometimes the reverse. But either way, I work with the transitions from one colour to the next to get a smooth blend. I'll play some music now while I finish the colouring and I'll be back shortly. jog out with scissors I then pulled out the Pebbles Ink Loves Me Icons ephemera printed cardstock shapes and started to play around with ones that appealed to me and I felt went well with a hedgehog. There are a pile of shapes included in the pack from the cute images to banners and sentiments. I was drawn to the images with pops of red, in particular the large red heart and smaller hello love banner. Next I pulled out the Pebbles Ink Loves Me pattern papers and this is how I choose pattern papers to use. I lay the coloured images on top and then move in different options until I get a combination of patterns and colours which suits. There is a design rule when thinking about colours and patterns, that of the gallon pint quart, which basically means that to get a combination which works well, you think about using more of one of the patterns than the others, then have a smaller piece of a second pattern, and then finally just a touch of a third pattern. For this card, I use mainly the pink floral paper with a touch of the striped paper and then just a dash of the text paper. I trimmed out a little floral accent from one of the shapes and now I'm ready to start putting this card together. I cut, scored and folded a Nina Desert, sorry, beg your pardon, Nina Solar White card base using the sturdy £110 weight card and I also trimmed all the pieces of pattern paper to fit too. I added foam adhesive to the back of the stripe paper and I did it to the front of the card base. And then I ran a Gina K glue runner along the back of the floral piece and I did the text strip before adding more foam adhesive to the panel and then adding it on top of the striped paper. I trimmed the little paper nubs away that you often get on these printed shape pieces and then added foam adhesive to the back of the remaining elements and arranged and attached them to the pattern paper. I used the Hello Love banner to ground the scene with a flower element hiding the hole which you could thread with twine. I then added the hedgehog in place and finally the big red heart. As a final accent I used some of the sparkly clear and opaque white sequins from the Girls Best Friend sequin mix and kept them in place with Gina K Connect glue. I then added a little sparkle to the red heart on the envelope with a Spectrum Noir sparkle pen and added Ranger Glossy Accents on top for shine. I also added Glossy Accents to the Hedgehog's nose. 
To accent the hedgehog's spines, I drew in white lines with a jelly roll pen and also added a few gold lines too for variety. I did want to add a sparkle to this little guy's eye too, but for this I used a black glaze jelly roll pen. And that completes this cute hedgehog Valentine's card using supplies from a card kit which can be found individually too. I'll leave links in the YouTube description below to the products that I've used today as well as a link to the coordinating blog post over at lamdoodadesign.com. I want to thank you for joining me today and if you've enjoyed this tutorial I'd be delighted if you subscribe to this channel. Also if you'd like to get notified when a new video is out don't forget to hit the bell button next to the subscribe button too. Thanks and I'll see you next time.